So Mia wanted to go to the party her classmate was throwing, but her father didn't let her. Mia thought for a while and remembered her grandparents had just moved to their new one-story country house. She asked her dad if she could visit them at the weekend, and the man agreed. But Mia went to the party instead. When she got back home after the weekend, her father asked her if she had had a good time. Mia replied she helped in the garden a little and spent the rest of the day upstairs. Her father immediately knew she was lying. How? Mia said she'd been upstairs, but her grandparents' house is a one-story cottage. Liar, liar, pants on fire. 11 plus 3 equals 2. 10 plus 5 equals 3. Now how is that possible? It makes sense when we talk about time. 11 o'clock plus 3 hours is 2 o'clock. 10 o'clock plus 5 hours is 3 o'clock. One king wants to find out which of his three sons is the smartest. He takes three chests and puts his crown in one of them. On each chest, there's a statement, but only one of these statements is true. The crown is in this chest. The crown isn't in this chest. The crown isn't in chest number one. Each person can only open one chest. The son who figures out where the crown is will be the next king. But can you solve this riddle? If the first statement is true, the other two must be false. It's not so because the second statement turns out to be correct. Uh -oh. So this assumption's wrong. If the second statement is true, the crown isn't in the first chest. It's not in the second chest either. Then it must be in the third one. But this makes the third statement correct, uh -oh. although it shouldn't be. If the third statement is true, the first one's wrong and there's no crown in the first chest. The second statement's also wrong. Now, there are no contradictions. The crown's in the second chest. Here's a sequence of letters. Which letter should you add? The missing letter is F. If you put it at the end, you'll get E. James and Taylor were best friends in elementary school. Unfortunately, when the children were 10, James and his parents moved to another state. The friends lost contact. 15 years later, James and Taylor accidentally bumped into each other in a cafe. It was their first meeting since school. They recognized each other and started talking. It turned out Taylor was already married and had a daughter. Wow, said James, does she look like her dad? Oh no, Taylor said, the girl's a mini version of her mother. Ah, so she must be a blonde with blue eyes. This time, James was right. How did he understand that? Taylor's a girl. She's the mother. And James only needed to describe her. You're outside a room with three switches in the off position. Your task is to find out which one turns on the light in the room. You can flip as many switches as you want, but you can walk into the room and check if the light's on only once. How can you understand which switch controls the light bulb? Turn on two random switches and wait for a couple of minutes. Then turn one of them off and walk into the room. If the light's on, the switch connected to the bulb is the one you left in the on position. If the room's dark, touch the light bulb. If it's hot, then the controlling switch is the one you just turned off. If the light bulb is cold, the correct switch is the only one you haven't touched. Esme got lost in the forest. She was wandering around for the whole day. Finally, at dusk, she saw a spooky house. A witch lived there. The girl had nowhere else to go, so she entered the house and asked for help. The witch said if Esme solved her riddle, she'd be free to leave in the morning. 
Here's how the riddle went. 17J, 70M, 96A, 162J, 256S, 354, hmm, what's the missing letter? The 17th day of the year is in January. The 70th day of the year is in March. The 96th is in April. The 162nd in June. And the day 256 is in September. Day 354 is in December. The missing letter is D. A young girl got her first job as a maid in a rich lady's house. Once, when she was tidying up, she noticed a very expensive collection of books. She made a break to look through one of them and then returned it to the shelf. The girl kept working until the very evening. No one else was at home. After finishing her work, the maid returned to the shelf and discovered that the sixth book was missing. But she clearly remembered that the book had been there before. It was the one she had been looking through. When the lady returned, the girl confessed she lost the book. But the woman only laughed and said everything was fine. Nothing was missing. How come? The collection had eight books. The ninth book was actually the sixth one. The girl accidentally put it upside down. Right before Christmas, the police got information that a famous thief named Alfonso had left Chile. He boarded the plane to Los Angeles. The only thing the detectives knew about the man was that he had a beard. At the airport, the police officers met a group of people. They had just arrived from different countries. The detectives noticed four men with beards and interrogated them. The first one said he'd come from London. The second told the police he arrived from Chile, but his name was Cristiano. The third man answered he'd come from Sweden. And the fourth one was also from London. The police didn't even need to check their plane tickets to spot the criminal. How did they know? It's Christmas time, but the man who supposedly came from Sweden is dressed too lightly for that climate. He must have arrived from Chile, where it's summer. A road accident happened on a foggy day. Two drivers were taken to a hospital. Each of them had a concussion. Interestingly, their cars didn't even have a scratch. What happened? The drivers were going in opposite directions. It was foggy, so they stuck their heads out of the window. They didn't notice each other and hit their heads. Ow! Samantha was born on January 27th. For the first 20 years of her life, she celebrated her birthday in the winter. But starting with her 21st birthday, she began celebrating it in the summer. Why? She moved to the Southern Hemisphere, where it's summer in January. Two sisters, Ava and Nicole, are very honest girls. They always tell the truth, except for one day a year. On their birthdays, they always lie. Today is September 17th, and you ask them when their birthdays are. Ava says hers was yesterday, and Nicole says her birthday is tomorrow. The next day, you ask them again, and they say the exact same thing. Can you guess when their birthdays are? They can't have two birthdays. It means that one day, one of them lied, and the next day, it was the other's turn. Since Ava mentioned yesterday, her birthday must come first. So Ava's birthday is on September 17th, and Nicole's on September 18th. Bethany, Tommy, Eliza, and James spent the whole day at home alone. Their mother didn't let them enter her room. When she came back in the evening, she wanted to eat her chocolate bar. But it was gone. She went downstairs and asked the kids who had eaten her treat. Bethany said she'd been doing her algebra homework the whole day and hadn't eaten anything at all. 
Tommy replied he had been playing football outside. Eliza said she didn't even know where their mom kept chocolate. And James simply claimed it hadn't been him. Their mom knew immediately who had taken her chocolate. How did she figure it out? It was Eliza. The mother never mentioned what kind of treat was missing, but Eliza somehow knew it was chocolate. The father of identical quadruplets, Aurora, Belle, Chloe, and Dana, called the teacher and asked her to let Dana leave earlier. She had a doctor's appointment. The teacher couldn't tell the girls apart. To have some fun, the quadruplets refused to confess who was who, but gave their teacher a hint. Chloe is somewhere in the middle. Dana is to the left of Belle and to the right of Aurora. Aurora is right next to Dana. How can the teacher identify the girls? Chloe is somewhere in the middle. And since Dana has someone on both sides of her, she must be in the middle too. If Chloe was the second, Dana would be the third. Then Dana would be to the left of Belle, and Belle would be the fourth. Then Aurora must be the first. Uh But it doesn't work, because Aurora and Dana have to be next to each other. If we switch Chloe and Dana, Dana will be right next to Aurora, but still to Uh the left of Belle. So the right order is Aurora, Dana, Chloe, and Belle. Dana's the second girl.